Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we are going to discuss about another question regarding MRCS based on EMRCS. In this channel, I will discuss gradually all the questions uh, of EMRCS, recalls, fauzia sheet and other questions if possible. So stay tuned with this channel and craft the MRCS. Uh, now start the question uh, during an operation for varicose vein the surgeon are mobilizing the long saphenous vein near its points of entry to the femoral vein an artery is injured and bleeding is encountered from where is the bleeding most likely originate so here we can see uh, the important clues are mobilizing long saphenous vein. So, first of all, we have to know about the long saphenous vein and then near it is point of entry in the femoral vein. That means where long saphenous vein enter into the femoral vein, there is an artery which may be injured for this bleeding encounter. We have to find out the artery which closely lies the saphenous vein where saphenous vein entering the femoral vein so it is terminal part of the saphenous vein where a artery is present and this artery is responsible for the bleeding due to injury of this specific artery so let's see the questions these questions here uh, the answer options are femoral artery profunda femoris artery superficial circumflex iliac artery superficial epigastric artery deep external pudental artery so here we can see this vein this large vein this blue color structure is femoral vein and this another blue color blood vessel it is great saphenous vein and we can see the great saphenous vein enter into the femoral vein and this femoral vein it lies in the femoral triangle we can see here the femoral triangle this is the triangle and it is the femoral triangle here we can see here this is the inguinal ligament which form base or superior part of the femoral triangle this muscle this muscle is sartorius muscle medial border of the sartorius muscle from the lateral border of the femoral triangle on the other hand we can see the medial border of the adductor longus it forms the medial wall or medial boundary of femoral triangle and this is apex and apex is formed by this these two muscle joining of the two muscles that is adductor longus and sartorius and some of the uh, muscles present in the floor we can see here and roof also present in case of femoral triangle so here we can see the main structure femoral vein and great saphenous vein they lies in the femoral triangle and it, uh, in the question they uh, says the artery close to the origin of the uh, uh, close to the uh, terminal part of the great saphenous vein we can see this artery this artery is very close to the saphenous vein and we have to know the name of the artery here we can see the name of the artery is deep external pudental vessel or pudental artery here artery and vein so there is a possibility to injury in the deep external pudental artery so here uh, in this picture we uh, also can see a clear view in the above part there is inguinal ligament and it is cut section of the sartorius that means this area sartorius present and adductor longus and it is the femoral triangle within the femoral triangle different content one of the one of them are femoral vein this is the femoral vein and we can see this structure this blue structure this is 
saphenous vein so saphenous vein it open into the femoral vein and we can see when turbinate saphenous vein in the femoral vein a artery is very close to the termination of the great saphenous vein and this artery this artery is deep external pudental artery so when surgeon mobilizing the great saphenous vein we can see in the very close that is this artery so every possibility is to injury to this artery so our final answer is deep external pudental artery and it is very close to long saphenous vein long saphenous vein and during uh, the operation it is a possibility to uh, injury uh, to injure the uh, artery and that artery is deep external pudental artery so thank you all